Howdy folks, Gold me to 247 here with a quick how-to video. This is a question I have uh, coming from the comments and also from my uh, direct uh, message. Uh, how to run Fallout 3 on Windows 7. So just to make sure that we make this video pretty short, this is good for the CD version and that's also good for the Steam version because it's easier right now to get it on Steam than try to find the CD. Uh, make sure you have the full game installed on your computer, including all the downloadable contents, uh, all, all the DLCs as we call them, and launch the game. That's all you have to do. Um, right there you'll see I have the CD version installed, my beautiful CD cursor coming up, and the launcher. Here we go. So we have this up right now. First thing you'll have to do, uh, do not don't press play right away, the game's gonna crash. Uh, go into options, anti-aliasing, just make sure that you remove them all. I have four at the moment, you you can find four or eight probably uh, in front of you when you do that. Uh, don't worry folks, I know you can't watch the video and do that at the same time. So all the instructions are in the uh, in the description of the video. So have a look into that, I wrote it all down. So anti-aliasing, turn that off, make sure there's none for best performance, it's, uh, it's written right there. And press OK. And then you can press play and start the game. Right there there's a lot less chances uh, that your game will crash. So we'll get into the main menu. There we go, we'll skip a couple of screens real quick. Alright, once in the main menu, we're not going to start the game right away or go into any settings press control alt delete and then ask access the task manager make sure that this is open uh, or the process tab or the application tab if you have the application tab open uh, select fallout 3 right click it and then go to process right there you'll have fallout 3 uh, selected in process if you're already in process just look in the list and select it uh, once selected, there's two things we're going to do. Right click it. Two things we'll be looking into today will be properties and the affinity of that uh, software here working. So we'll go into properties right away. Six tab coming up. The tab we're looking for is the compatibility tab. Open that. And the first square here. Help me choose my setting. Don't You don't need the help. I'm here. So compatibility mode we have to run this game you cannot run it on Windows 7 so click this here don't be afraid of the square just check it and then select what you need to run this uh, this program this is also good for any other uh, older game that you can find let's say on Steam or on CD or uh, in a flea market um, I'm gonna select Windows XP service pack 3 in this case to run the game you can run it on Vista as long as it's not Windows 7 so Windows XP Pack 3, uh, Pack 3 will be and will apply don't press OK right away apply before and then press OK that's all you have to do in properties second thing I was talking about affinity what will come up for 90 percent of you is this here we go so access denied you cannot complete this operation uh, we'll get access right there press OK just get rid of that at the bottom of this tab you'll find show processes for all users make sure that you have that selected so click on it here we go so this is this will come up there's a refresh here of the list uh, reselect your fallout 3 right here right click it affinity here we go. The screen coming up in front of you might show up to 32 uh, CPU. Uh, what's important is this game can only be run on one core. Um, I'm running this on an i5 2300 uh, second generation with four core. So only one core is necessary for this game. More than that, you'll crash the game. So unselect them all and then just select the first one. That's to run the game. In my case here, if you'd like to do a little bit more with the game, in my case, I'm recording the game, and I plan on also probably modding the game, so adding some modes in there. 
So I'm gonna run it in two computer. I'm taking a chance. There's more chance that my computer will crash. M not my computer, but the game will crash. So you guys should run this on only one. So only check this one, and then press OK. We're done with this. Here we go. Uh, I would be surprised if you can go back to Fallout uh, to the game Fallout 3 right now. So we'll close this Task Manager, and then we'll try to go back to Fallout 3. It's not gonna go back. No worries. Close the window. Reopen Fallout 3 with the launcher. It should be coming up right now. Here we go. So you can press play at this point since everything's set up. And as you can see, there's no visible changes going back to Windows XP. It's just that this software will run it with Windows XP. There we go. So we'll go to the main menu. I'm going to show you the last trick to make sure that your game doesn't crash every 10, 15 minutes. It's in the settings, in the gameplay. You have all this turned on, the save option. Those are auto save options. Just make sure that you remove them all three. So no save on the rest, no save on wait, and no save on travel. All right. Uh, when you're on that, of course, you have to save the game by yourself. So don't forget to save the game uh, once in a while. So go back to the menu and just save the game. And then you can finally start a new game. Here we go. We're not going to watch the intro. I'm going to skip it. And we'll go right away to the first couple image of the game. And here Mr. Liam Neeson open the game. There we go. After that, the game shouldn't crash anymore, so you'll be good to go to enjoy Fallout 3. Remember guys, that's also good for other games uh, that you can find. Here you go. So um, I'm going to leave you on that, folks. I'm going to wish you a good one. Call me to 247 here. If, if this video here was useful to you, leave a comment on the video. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to watch the gameplay on my channel. Have a good one.